Welcome back, everyone. Happy West Wednesday. The amazing Chef Brian West is joining us today. He is about to make his famous fried shrimp. You notice I add the word famous onto yes. everything you make. I just It, it just becomes <laughs> yeah. famous. Well, every time I do something on the show, it becomes famous. It's it amazing. really does. Yeah. It truly does. It you have brought along a very special friend with you today. This I is have. Red. She is a bartender, and she is going to be pairing the perfect cocktail yes. with this fried shrimp, right? <laughs> Yes, you I am. You look great on camera. Oh, thank you. She's, <laughs> she's yeah. like, I'm feeling very uncomfortable. <laughs> no, she's good. <laughs> no, uh, Red's been with me for five years now. Five years. She yeah. okay. makes all of our cocktails. She does all the bar design and stuff like that for us. So uh, she's it. an important, crucial role for somebody like me. Yes. Because I, uh, I self-medicate. You, you know? <laughs> and you need help when it comes to making the magic. Exactly. You know, it can't exactly. just be one man. So. Totally. Totally. So let's um, make some some shrimp magic today. Yes. Yeah, so what we're doing today is this is a Texas fried shrimp or Texas okay. Gulf fried shrimp. We're using Texas Gulf shrimp from they're Groomers. Huge. Awesome. Yeah, they're monsters. Uh, and so what I want to show you guys, I just want to go. That it's a simple procedure, but I want to show you how to do it without making a huge mess in your kitchen. Oh, I appreciate um, that. So this is a little method I came up with. It's just a a jar for the oh. um, for the egg white or the eggs, whole eggs that is. That's three eggs in there. The cool thing about this, you can dip the shrimp in here, not make a big mess. You can put the lid on it. You can actually make scrambled eggs out of the next day. So They're smart. perfectly fine. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our shrimp. Mm -hmm. We'll season them up first. I don't salt. put any seasoning in my um, in my batter or, my, or anything like that. You season um, the actual shrimp. Do, and it's gonna go always dry, mm -hmm. wet, dry is the, is the standard breading procedure. I'm holding on to a little tail. And then I'm just getting <laughs> in life. here. Hello. Just that's that's a it. great idea. Just a little dunk. And then I'm putting it into the panko. So the panko is what right. makes it Texas fried shrimp. If we were doing southern fried shrimp, mm -hmm. it would be in flour. I like but extra. Lots and lots too. of that. Please. Me too. And so you just crush it down. And see how I crushed it down mm -hmm. to make it flat? That's going to give you a better bite whenever you're ready to go. Got and then it. we're going to just give it into this little poppity doo -dah, And it's going to snap, Beautiful. crackle, and pop. And then you just keep repeating keep going. the procedure. And when they get fully cooked, they'll be mm -hmm. golden brown and delicious. They'll probably take two minutes to cook when they're crushed like that, maybe even less. We so have worked quick. together so long. You answer my questions before I ask them. I was literally about to say, how long do we let them cook? Right. Two minutes. Two minutes, maybe faster. Uh, they'll start to uh, they'll start to tell you when they're ready. They'll get a, a little bit curly. Mm -hmm. They're doing whatnot. that now a little they, bit, aren't they? Are. And you just keep going and again and again and again. Yeah. You know, it just keeps going on. But... What I really wanted to do is show an awesome cocktail and kind of mm -hmm. let people know about Red and how awesome she is. We, <laughs> we've been hanging out for years and she does a fantastic job. So what did you bring for us today, Red? So today I brought 1888 rum. Um, it is one of our sponsors that we have at TOR as well. It pairs very well with uh, juices that we have okay. here. So today we're making a planter's punch. I don't, y'all have probably heard of it, I'm not really sure. I've heard of Hawaiian punch. <laughs> this is better. <laughs> this is much better than that. <laughs> this is the, the adult version. You can still give it to kids though. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have two ounces uh -huh. of 1888. And by the way, when they say TOR, they're talking about Taste, Taste of the Republic, Republic, which is a huge fiesta event that Chef West puts on every single year and you're already gearing up for it this time yeah, around. Yeah, and we are we are just about sold. I think there's like 15 tickets left. And what a great problem. 15, yeah. wow, Chef. I know. Way Good in job, ahead. Good job, you guys. Way in ahead. All right, Red, so we'll let you carry on there. No, you're good, you're good. You're gonna make sure you want an ounce of orange juice, an ounce of pineapple. You're also gonna want at least three to four ounces of sweet tea. Okay. Oh, did forget this? You wanna make she sure put, you squeeze. You said sweet tea in sweet there. Sweet tea. Mm -hmm. We are keeping it southern, aren't we? we yes, ma'am. Make sure you squeeze your lemon in there. The shrimp good shake. Amazing. Okay. Oh, it's all in the shake, isn't it? She doesn't have to go to the gym. She's I just don't. This is definitely day. my workout. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Shake, I'll tell you that. I'll bet she does. <laughs> Get it into your cocktail glass. Give it a beautiful little garnish. You are good to go. Will we be serving these at Taste of the Republic? We'll be we serving definitely something can. Something like it, yeah. So <laughs> they will be serving liquor. That's we, for sure. Yeah, we'll have plenty of booze. We have wine, beer, and cocktails, okay. uh, all being crafted on property. Okay. Uh, so and I'm they excited. follow the manifesto that I wrote, my little book. Oh, but before I drink, maybe I should say cheers to your manifesto. Cheers. Cheers. You know Chef West wrote a book. Well, you're, only, you're an the author. The only kind of book that I can write. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> 
It is, but it's got a front and a back cover, and, yep. and, and it's more than one, two pages, so yeah, it's a book. Yeah, it's a, it is a book. It's about what, a pamphlet, right? I what is this, it. though? When did you write this? So I actually wrote that about five years ago when I was working at the CIA, the Culinary Institute of America. Oh, my the CIA. And, uh, yeah, I know. I always have to say that really quickly. Yeah. Uh, and uh, um, it's just about my philosophy on Texas cuisine. Oh, that's good. Is it good? That's good, and your philosophy on yeah. Texas cuisine. Both of them. Delicious, Rand. Thank you so much. I love it. Okay, well, what do we do after our shrimp's done? So our shrimp is done, and we are just going to pop it in here, very rustic, okay. you know, mm -hmm. and I hit it with a little more salt when it came out. Notice I didn't put any seasoning in any of you this. You did not. I don't need to. Um, season it before it, when it goes, before it goes in and when it comes out, and you're good to go. And I just served it with a little traditional, again, tartar sauce and cocktail sauce. We do both here you in gotta Texas. you got to have both. you got to have both. That's for sure. My grandmother used to mix them and make some sort of weird pink uh, concoction. Well, that's like that's pretty people good. who mix mayo and ketchup. Yeah, it's pretty much the same ish, thing. Yeah, ish. pretty much the same thing. Um, thanks, guys. You're welcome. Thank you very much for being here for the shrimp and the cocktails. And we do want everyone, well, you have about 14 tickets left yeah. uh, for Taste of the Republic. But if they're interested in those, yes. grabbing those last few. You can go straight to my website, chefbrianwest.com. You can tag on the Taste of the Republic, and it will take you right to the place where you can buy your ticket, and you'll be on your phone. You just walk right in. And it is the best party of the year. I throw yes, the best yes. parties. I really do. He um, really I don't does. I brag, but. Well, he parties along with all of the guests. I do. Yeah. I have a traveling bartender. It comes with yeah. me everywhere Hello. I go. Some so people jealous. want background, like a DJ following no. me. I want a bartender following me. You want me. Red. I don't blame you. Red, you have to come back as well. It was so lovely oh, meeting you. absolute honor Having being you show. here Thank today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And if y'all would like more on Chef Brian West, he is his own man, his own company, his own everything. You can call him. You can go to his website, which is chefbrianwest.com. You can also go to his Facebook or his Instagram page. He's everywhere. I'm everywhere. And go see him at Taste of the Republic. Thanks, y'all. Thank you.